Let's welcome back everyone to the second session. In this second session, we are going to study about the grammar Galaxy 2. Okay, so in the previous video, you are studying about the unit 9, it is about simple past 1, right? And today with all, we are going to start about the simple past 2. And for the simple past 2, it's not quite different to the simple past 1. The something different, a small different is about the usages of the irregular verb. That's what I promised you in the last session that today we are going to start studying about the about the irregular verb of the simple past. Okay, so but today's session we are just uh, guiding you about the uh, some new things in the simple past too. Okay, so now let's read together. Many common verbs are irregular in the simple past, and irregular past tense verbs follow the same rules as a regular verb as regular ones when used in statements and questions. Okay, so as what we have read, there is not different uh, between simple past one and simple past two. The usage of the simple past is the same, but the different is about what I told you, it is about the irregular verb. Okay, so now let's see some of the uh, forms that we have. So there are uh, three main forms. So it is about the affirmative form. We have subject plus the verb, verb to, right? In verb to, the word drew, drew is from the verb draw. Okay, so as what we know that we have to change its form. Okay, we have to change its original form. It's not like the uh, regular verb in a simple past by adding ed or ied. It's not like this in the uh, irregular verbs of the simple past. Okay, so irregular verbs of the simple past, we have to change its original form. As you can see, the word draw is come from the word draw, right? Okay, draw that we spell D O A W. Okay, and when it change to the past simple, we change it to drew D O E W. Okay, so subject plus verb to plus the object. All right, and how about the negative form? For negative form, we just add subject did not or didn't plus the word draw a picture. Okay, so it means like a negative form we don't have to change the, the verb okay so we keep it remains as the verb infinitive okay yes as well you can see the word draw and question form we have date plus subject plus draw a picture it is about the object and don't forget the question mark how can you answer the yes or no question so yes or no question you can say yes i did no i didn't so it according to the subject that you use right and there are also some sentence examples that i want you to see on the whiteboard number one i went to the park two she didn't go to the park three did he go to the park all right so everyone this is about the simple past two in our second video so in the next video we are going to practice about the exercise in the simple past two which is on page 40 46 okay everyone thank you for spending your time in today's online class and i hope you have a good day and safe from the uh, covid 19. so goodbye everyone see you tomorrow good luck